Hello, hello, my name is Joel, Joel1007. I'm a play Pokemon professor and today is my birthday. Yeah, I'm a bit of a variety streamer, but I'm also a big Pokemon fan. I used to run a play Pokemon league, uh, something like this there. We used to give out a bunch of codes and cards to the people in our club. But unfortunately, that hasn't, you know, been around lately since COVID, right? Yeah, kind of sucky. But we do have some online activities. We have a bit of a Discord. Use, uh, I guess, links down below. And if you're in the stream, uh, use an explanation mark Pokemon or explanation mark Discord, and you'll find that. And today, I'm going to be opening a bunch of packs. I have about 30-ish packs of cards here and things. And I'm also doing a bunch of giveaways. Links in the description is going to be good for about a week. We're going to be giving away a bunch of Steam games, uh, some Pokemon cards mailed out, some code cards, and some shiny Pokemon for VCG. Yeah, so my little give back to the community kind of thing. Well, let's get into this. So like I said, I got a bunch of cool things, including this exclusive Japanese set. This is All-Stars. This is a set where each pack has something good in it. So that's like my big treat for myself. This thing costs quite a bit. It's like a $100 box there. But to start off, just slow roll into it. We're gonna open up some of these packs, okay? So these packs are just little dollar packs. They usually have a little bit of hollows and stuff like that. Ooh, lightning energy, nice. What else do we get? Shenotic and a Snorlax. Yeah, little rares and uh, stuff like that. They're nothing too, too crazy, but you know, they are fun, especially for filling out uh, a lot of rares in your collection. I usually gift a lot of these off to the kids at League and such there, or, or make little new packages for new players. All right, let's keep cracking into some of these. Yeah, I do like my cards. So it looks like we're getting a lot of lightning energy here. Yeah, sometimes these packs are redone by, I believe, the Prestine Company. Nothing too crazy, but there's supposed to be hollows in here, but I don't see any hollows yet. And what I can notice sometimes is they do like the same set. Like for instance, like here, we got an energy psych sorry, electric energy. I opened some up a few weeks ago and got psychic energies. And when we get burning shadows, no, there is a bit of a mix there. Okay, they well these two are from the same set. Right, let's keep going. Hey, thanks you for the happy birthday. Yeah, going to be opening up a lot of packs of cards here. Let me guess, another lightning energy? No, we get a psychic energy. A Rotom Heat. And a Persian with the Gathering of Cats, which I really feel like one of my friends at League should have made as a deck there. Uh, she loves her cats there, and, you know, be fun to make like, a little cat-themed deck there. Yeah, another lightning energy is good. I'm, at least I'm stocking up on those. Hey, Rune Regis. I think that's a neat-looking Pokemon, just to say. You know, I could probably hold my hands a little closer. Keep cracking, we're these little ones as we wait for people to come on in. Okay, look at there's another psychic energy. Ooh, Magnemite. I love Magnemite. I like steel Pokemon. And a bomb of snow. Okay, looks like all these ones are done. Let's get a few more of these. Do 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 a nice Alolan theme song. Yeah, I do like my cards a lot. More psychic, or more like psychic electric energy, like fire, yeah, spirit tomb. Too bad it wasn't the really good spirit tomb with the uh, gathering spite for more damage counters on it. Does more damage outwards. There you go. And da da da, another lightning energy. I don't know what set actually. I guess it was the Rayquaza set that did. Uh, I was trying to think what it was. I guess it was an Ultra Necrozma got the metal ones. And eh, nothing too crazy. Heat wrote them. Good for that one deck where. It doesn't uh, use any energy attack as long as there's enough tool cards in the discard. Now the Psychic. And a little Execute with the Execute Paralyze, Draco Meter. There's a different one that's better though. Keep cracking some packs there. Got about, I think, 14 of these little mini packs. A little snip. There you go. Things go off to the side. New setup today that I usually do my setup on my kitchen counter, but this one's a little different there. Got a bit of a face cam going. Cool stuff. I heard this one actually got banned online for a brief moment. It says, discard two energies from your hand. If you don't, this tech does nothing. But apparently it was broken in some way where it was just constantly allowing you to... I think it was actually doing double damage. It was doing like 240 for some reason. So that was an unfair way to beat the game. Let me guess. Uh, lightning. Nope, we got Psychic. I'm not really good at guessing this, am I? We got the Dangerous Lick. Is this the one with the flip? Yes, if you flip, uh, this, your opponent's active Pokemon is paralyzed or does 50 more damage, which is neat. Ooh, an Aegis Slash, cool. That's nice, I actually didn't have one of those, so I'm happy to put that in my collection. Yeah. 
Hey, Lion Sky, happy birthday to me. Yes. You know what? I think I'll actually turn on. Ah, is Restream not working? I don't think Restream's working right now. Alright. Get that. Another Heat Run. We got a few of those before. And another Rune Ring. So we have all these cards in the pile. Take a pause for a second. Oof. Yeah, you know what? I'll try to get it working real good. I just don't want anybody to bombard with, like, anything crude and rude. You know how it is. There we go. Hit the settings. Hello. Hey, there you go. Ah, yes, fun game. We do uh, should join us next time we do a game night. There we go. Now I can actually hear what you guys are chit-chatting about there over there. Okay, take my trash off the floor. We're gonna clean it up later. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can get some cool cards there. I really wonder what's gonna be in this box. So that's gonna be a crazy box. See if I can't get one of the legendary god packs where you open up everything. Ah, yes, you were a good detective when we were playing. Ooh. Oh, nice. Okay, interesting. So here we have a Raikou, and it has a shattered glass hollow to it. Um, that means that this might have been from a special theme deck or something. This is a very decent pull. Like, sometimes they don't like, I don't know, they repurpose a bunch of decks and things here. But this is a really good card. This is like probably a $5 card. That's cool. First hollow too, because they don't really give you a lot of hollows. Ooh, a little newt. You don't boop the newt, though. Don't boop the newt. Alright, let's continue. Actually, I'm gonna take this thing. I'm gonna set it aside. Hollows are better, we'll say. Okay. We get ourselves a lightning energy attached to that Raikou. Uh, Roserade. And a bird. But not, not the greatest bird. There we go. Like, for instance, pandering to the audience here, I think Lion Sky's uh, Alteria would be a, a better bird to pull. Yep. Yeah. Just to say, guys, we're doing a bit of a giveaway in the Discord. We use hashtag, or explanation mark Pokemon, hashtag, uh, explanation mark Discord, one of the two. It'll bring you to some of my social media stuff. Altaria is a pretty good bird. It's definitely the best, top ten birds. I'm not going to say it's best bird, don't want to offend people, but I'll say it's definitely top ten. Okay. Last of these little cheap packs. We get ourselves a Lightning Energy, who would have guessed? A Scorpy. Ooh, and an Arcanine with a really good ability, actually. It says that this has the Burning Scarf on it, and it gets an extra 100 HP. So imagine this thing with 230, or maybe you had the Break on it, which would be a little clunky. But, you know, you'd have tons of HP, plus you can burn if they hit you. So let's go. Cool. There you go. So that's a nice little chunk of Reverse Rares and Hollows. Tons of energy, so, like, I guess I don't need any more energy now. Probably give some of those away at some point. Got too many. Yep. Okay, set that off. Grab that. What do we do next? Hmm. This tin looks neat, I guess. Has a Dragapult on it. Yeah, this is something kind of new there. I wonder what packs will be inside. I imagine it's Darkness Ablaze. But it would be nice to see... Um, Champion's Path, which I very much doubt it'd be. Uh, I can't reach it like that. Let's just rip it. So, the cool thing about this one is it comes with like a little... Yeah, it's a really cool tin. You can kind of put your cards in there. Hey, thank you. What you call it there? Wow, look at how I'm opening this. It's like just one ribbon there. It just keeps going and going and going. Maybe I should have stuck to the knife or the scissors. Oh, boy. I hear something rattling inside there. All right, so yeah, this is a neat little tin. You had the sw swabble one? Yeah. Did you know that if you peel off this little sticker thing on the back, it shows the entire picture? Of like, let's see, we have a Galarian Ponyta, a Nobstagoon, a uh, Troxicity, Galarian Farfetch, or Sir Farfetch, and a Dragapult, which I thought was the coolest out of the bunch, so that's why I went for this. Plus, there was only one of these tins, so I guess I got one of the rare ones. I'm not all for collecting all of them. They're good if you put your cards in if you don't have sleeves on your card, but I really recommend putting sleeves on your card. You don't want to damage your stuff. Alright, okay, we get ourselves a cool coin. We get ourselves a nice glittery rock rock. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. I like the, uh, the cross-stitching on the hollow. That's really nice. Actually, it also, it also has like a nice brownish color like uh, he is. They're a nice tannish for the midday. That's, nice. That's a damn nice coin. Yeah, right. We get ourselves. A pack that doesn't want to come out. Man, they really show it in there, don't they? There you go. You get this little art card. Now, if you were to collect all the art cards, they would kind of line up and make like a little poster thing. Let's see, we have Dragapult, number 887. Too bad it wasn't 888. I feel like that'd be a really cool Pokedex number for it, you know? 
we can see we have the stealth Pokemon. It's 910, weighs 110 pounds. Well, it's a big Pokemon, but I guess it's very gaseous and, you know, like ghostly and whatnot. When it isn't battling, it's dreepy, uh, sorry, it keeps dreepies in the holes in its horns. Once the fight starts, it launches dreepies like supersonic missiles. It says you can collect all five art cards. Eh, I'm okay with just one. Definitely get a nice little tin to keep your coins and things in there, your dice. So that's pretty neat. Set that off to the sun. Let's keep going. Get ourselves an old sun and moon pack. I haven't seen one of these in probably, I'm going to say, like a year and a half. That's cool. Let's crack into it. Maybe we get ourselves a nice cool energy or, you know, one of these guys is a, an ultra rare. We can dream, right? We can dream. I'll be giving away all the uh, code cards in the stream here. So, well, all except for the Champions Pass ones. I think I'm going to hold on to those ones. They're really hard to get your hands on. And, yeah, I almost should have kept that sealed probably. Yeah, maybe next time. Okay, so here's a code card for somebody in the audience. Gonna cover up my uh, the QR code so nobody can just take that with a machine right away. Okay, flick that off to the side. I believe it was three than five. Let's see, gotta peek at it. I don't know if that's right or not. Oh, let's see. Please don't be the rare. Peeking. Okay, it's not the rare. Okay, so let's see. Here's this crocodile. Uh, sorry, uh, Kuroko Co dinosaur. I I get alligator. I, I can never really pronounce that guy. A Brion. A big donut. A swabble. Swabble? No, that's not a swabble. That's a snubble. Close enough. Sendo. A picky peck. I actually really like picky peck. I think he's a cute Pokemon line. Carvana. A Tokudamaru. An Arachnid Reverse. A Bruxious Rare. Oh, and a Fighting Energy. I, I forgot about the Fighting Energy. I guess it is four to the front. Eh, nothing too crazy in that pack. But, you know, we're bound to hit some gold in some of these packs. Okay, let's keep going. Got ourselves the new, the newest pack too. It's the oldest pack you can almost get your hands on right now, and uh, the one of the newest ones. Okay, so we have ourselves the Dab, the Darkness of Blaze packs. There, we have a few more of them off camera, but we'll slowly get to them. There you go. There you go. Code card to someone in the audience, and it's uh, four to the front. Yeah, four to the front. Just gotta make sure. I'm getting a little rusty here. It's been a while. So, we get ourselves a Grass Energy. Yeah. Carvine. A Big Parasol. I actually didn't have a place out of these, so it's nice to get uh, trainer cards. I like that. Piers. Yeah, he's new too. We get a nice little Lavatar. Nice looking Pokemon. A Nick Kit. I always thought this was really cool too, but it looks like it has like a campfire. I know it's just his tail's full of stolen possessions, but like it almost looks like the rocks around a campfire too. It almost looks like a Vulpix in a bit. A Bond Suite. A Snubble, now a Psychic type because they kind of ditched Fairy type for now. A hey, Meltan, oh that's cool, it has like a nice industrial wasteland. A Grand Bowl to go off that Snubble back there. And a rare for the pack is. Hey, that's pretty cool, Grim Snarl V, sweet. Nice. Yeah, that's neat, I'm actually happy that's gonna go in my binder. I like getting Vs, whatever the new set is, like EX, GX, Vs, whatever, of that gen's newest Pokemon. It's kind of weird to get like a V of a thing that comes around from a couple weeks ago, like, you know, years ago and all that. It definitely is nice. Well, actually, let's see what he does. Uh, if he does anything crazy. I think he has a VMAX in this set, too. He has Bite for 40 damage for one energy. Ooh, that's a nice for one, because normally it's like about, you'd want about 30 or so, so that's pretty decent. Uh, spiny Knuckles. Put two Darkness Energies attached to this Pokemon into your hand. Ooh, that's a sharp cost. That sets you back, like, two turns. Not the greatest, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, maybe I should actually sleeve some of these things. Yeah, that'd take some time to sleeve that up. Can't really sleeve that jumbo art card. I just feel like it's a little too big to actually fit into a sleeve. I always think to myself that I have two VMAX Charizards. Yeah, how in the heck did you get that lucky? At one point, those things were going for like free to six hundred dollars a pop. Uh, but as if you can actually run the deck if you wanted, you know, it's crazy. All right. Let's see, I guess, do we keep it going with another bit of Darkness of Blaze? See if I get myself the Charizard? Yeah, I guess we'll keep it going there. Yeah, that's one of the cards that everybody wants out of this. Or the Eternatus Hand, I think that's pretty neat too. Okay, here's my nice little knife, be careful. There we go, sliced it there. And then I just want to get underneath there a little bit more. There we go. There we go, da 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 da. Crash the sun. 
I usually keep the little boxes after to organize my cards, my bulk and such. So if there's like Pokemon that I think I'll hold on to because they might be good. Hey, Super Moo. It's cool. Your name has red on here. I wonder why. Okay. Right, so what's our promo? We get... Ooh, a Kangaskhan. That's definitely pretty cute. I really do believe that the Marowax and Cubone line are kind of attached to the Kangaskhan line. I, I'm on that camp. There's some people who think that, he, you know, if the parent was to pass away, a little baby will turn into basically a Marowak or, sorry, Cubone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're nuts there. Let's take a look what's in here. This one's going to be a special code card, so I'm holding on to those guys. That's like a little treat for myself online. But if you want some code cards, come check out the Discord there. We got a bit of a, a giveaway for some dab codes. We have some packs, uh, some all types of things. Shiny Pokemon giveaway. That's very nice. Let's uh, sleeve that up. Yeah. Let's see. This goes here. Very cool, very cool. So what else do we get in here? Pokemon uh, Breeders Nursery. Okay, that one's new because I have a, that was a really old card from like the second gen. Professor's Research, fairly good. Pokey Kid, Kangaskhan yet again, but not as nice looking. It has the Ryle back. I should guess I should have read that there. What do you have? Ryle back. If one of your Pokemon is knocked out, this does 90 more damage. Oh, nice. Hammer in. So that's pretty good. Nice energy cost, very clean. Vanillite, Vanillite, Vanillite. I'm of the belief that in the Pokemon universe, a thing like this existed first, and then they're like, oh, that's kind of neat. Let's make some ice cream after it, you know? Or the trash bag Pokemon was, like, eating trash, and then it's like, huh, that's actually a clever idea. Let's put it in the trash, you know? Oh, yeah? They've still been doing that? I don't know. That's neat. I, I thought they didn't, but okay. Let's see. Once during your turn, this Pokemon is your active. May flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's paralyzed. That's interesting. Get a little place out of that guy. It's a bit of a stall. Another Piers. Says so you get any Dark-type Pokemon. Yeah, you're allowed to, uh, you what, accelerate an energy? Search your deck for an energy card and a Dark-type Pokemon. Put them into your hand. Then shuffle. Okay, we used to have something like that for fighting back in the day. Sonya, so there's two basics or two basic energies. Hop. Ooh, Dark Ride. This one's actually pretty good. Uh, this Pokemon has any darkness attached to it, uh, energy attached to it. Takes 20 less from attacks. Hey, Bushka. Let's see, and also it says for uh, this attack does 20 damage for each darkness energy attached to it. So this could do about 120 and takes a little less. That's actually not bad. A Dino. A Dino. A Dino. I know what we're getting next. As well as... And the high dragons. We have two? Ah, yes. Now, this one's actually really good. It says you're allowed to put as many dark energies as you want per turn. This is actually a really good card. Allows you accelerate. Alright, so that's like the little pre leasing. The idea is you take this little half deck, and you take these packs and some energy that they'll provide you at the league, and you'll basically make a 40 card mini deck, and you try to have a battle on the spot with it. And if you win, you might get a few more packs. But unfortunately, we haven't been able to do a pre lease for like the last little while. Uh, one more thing, another little thing that I get typically when I do host a pre-release is there's usually four promo cards, and they have the alternate art, and mine will say Darkness of Lays on it, like a little stamp, but mine will also say Staff on it. But again, we haven't been able to host any pre-releases lately. So, big sad. Get like a little instruction booklet or something here. Let's see. Building tips. Yeah. That's what everybody wants, is the Charizard. Very, very cool. So that's done. Okay, let's open up our Darkness of Blaze packs. Hey, they give us one of each artwork for the envelopes. That's nice for the, uh, the packages. Um, I think I actually pulled a Scorch recently. Yeah, I think I did. You know, we'll go for this, then that one, I think. It's a weird thing, but some people actually really like keeping the arc. No, no. Anyway, let's continue. That was a jerk move. Alright, so we're going to open up this Darkness of Blaze pack. Very carefully. I like to keep the artworks, as I was saying there. I know it's kind of weird, but I like to keep one decently intact pack. Okay, how can I open this? I think it's like this. Okay. Code card to you guys in the audience. Uh, four to the front. Oh, I got the, the pack on me. Okay, get ourselves a Metal Energy. One of my favorite energies. A rare fossil. That one's neat. Uh, 70 HP, a little more than the usuals. And it says, let's see, play this card if it was a 70 HP Pokemon? Yeah, and I guess you just evolved off of it. That's cool. I actually haven't had this set of fossils. I really wish they introduced the Pokemon separately, though, and made some kind of backlore like they have, like they like to connect. 
Ah, ferret. Bigger than a Charizard, actually. Oh, wow, that is some nice artwork on that Flaffy. Holy smokes. I got ourselves a Tauros. A Rookity. A Galarian Mr. Mime. I wonder if you can put up like ice walls or something. That'd be kind of neat. Oh, I like right. That is a decent looking art on that. I just think that's really nice. Okay. Get a Dino. Now we have a whole place that it lives. Our reverse is a not un uncommon semi seer. And our rare for the pack is a Butterfree V. Nice. That is a cute looking art. There you go. Cool. I'm happy about that. So far, what? We had like, what? Say two official free official packs and we got uh that's what is a free official packs so we got two hits that are really good so you know we're it's pretty good okay let's keep going that's gonna go in my binder i think okay come on now oh don't want to like damage the packs too much but i also don't want to like bend the cards you know also thanks lion sky for your help back there i appreciate that all right let's see Nice and careful. Nice and careful. You're welcome. Oh, yes. I guess I got to switch that back one second there. Boop, bada, boop. There you go. There you go. I think it should work now if you type something. Okay. Code card to someone in the audience. Forward to the front. Let's see. Fighting energy. Another semi seer, a lunatone, Cervali, sorry, Cervaria, Cervaria, I think it's called, Electrite, and Mr. Mime again. We almost got this whole combo. Grimer, love Grimer, Clink, Skitty, what a cute looking thing. I uh, look at that like artwork. That is just really decent looking artwork. Hey, a High Dragon Reverse, that's really decent. Like again, this is going to be probably a good five dollar card eventually. It's a really nice card. Ooh, and a Tranitar. Ooh, I'm actually really happy with that. That is sick looking. Bedrock Breaker, discard a stadium in play, and Mountain Swing. Does a 250 damage, discard uh, five cards. Wow. Three hits in a row, yeah, you're right. You know, I'm even counting this as an honorary hit, because like, even though it's not a hollow, per se, it's a reverse. I think it's a really good card. Like, this is a very playable card. I'm happy to have, like, almost a whole playset. I do have a play, pretty much a playset of the Dark Box Acceleration Energy things. We'll save the Charizard pack for last. Let's see if we can't get this a Giant Claw. I'd rather get the Giant Claw than the, uh, the smaller version, the Eternatus Vaporwave Space Dragon thingamajiggy. Okay, come on now. Pinch it open. Not bad, though. Pretty good box. I was asking this shop, he was like, which one do you think I should go for? Should I go for the one that's uh, on the shelf or the one at the countertop? She said she wasn't good at picking it, but she'd use her sister's magic wand to, uh, you know, give a little good luck, good luck blessing on it. Hey, okay, so here's another code card for somebody in the audience. I'm gonna be uploading these to YouTube. Probably gonna have to cut that one little spammy moment out. Okay, get ourselves a psychic energy. Hmm. Mmm, something good, I hope. Something good. Woo, Spike Mail. Where, where are we going to Spike Mail for? Let's see. Whenever a player's active Pokemon moves. Ah, you got it from the small shops? Good stuff. Whenever a player's active Pokemon moves to the bench, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, make sure to support your local shops, guys. Ah, Cape of Toughness. The basic Pokemon that this is attached to gets... 50 more HP, except for Pokemon GX. Okay, fair enough. That's actually really decent. I used to use a thing called, um, uh, I think it was Fighting Fury Belt. It said 10 damage out and 40 more HP. This is like the slightly better version. Uh, nice little Dragonfly. Okay, good Diglett. I like how there's like, in behind it, there's like a little Diglett temple thing. But you guys think that's really neat. Dang, that's a nice artwork. Whoever did that, I really like that. It's probably one of my favorite Pan 4 cards. Ooh, that's Spinarak. I, I, I really like the arts in this set. There's some really nice arts on these stuff. Get a Claymation. A Dunsparce. The Final Dig. If this Pokemon was knocked out from damage from an attack of an opponent, uh, discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck. Hmm, not bad, not bad. We get ourselves a Hippo. A Hippo... Hip, sorry, Hippo Down? Hippodon? Yeah, this one's neat because like, the, the males and females in there, uh, they change their color palette. And our rare for the pack is... 
I pulled my boy! I pulled a, sh a, a freaking rainbow scissor! Look, he's right there! My boy! My boy! As if! Sweet! Oh, nice. oh, heck yeah! Oh, that feels so good to pull up myself. I'm not a big fan of rainbow cards, but I'm really happy to get uh, one of every art for my boy Scizor. And we got the big boy Scizor. Oh my gosh, that is the best hit we got so far. I'm so happy about that. Yeah, he's now the top dog. What a great birthday surprise. Yeah, oh, yes, yes, my babushka. And I love you and thank you for all the nice things you're doing for me for my birthday. <laughs> also, the Sibidon, just to take a second, was this a rare? Yes, it was a rare, so we'll give it a sleeve. As if I got my boy. Let's take a look at that, as if. A little, it's a little bit glary because of the lighting. I need to fix the lighting in the situation, but like, dang, I'm so happy to get that. He's the big boy version. Okay, that's like the best hit. He's going to be staying out regardless of what happens there. I'm keeping... Scissor, here you go. There you go. You just hold that, okay? You just hold... Oh, yes, and that's a perfect transition. Guy, oh yeah, and you know what? You're right, four hits in a row. But I take a moment to look at the birthday card my girlfriend made me there. Happy birthday. Sorry, my now fiancé. We got engaged on the weekend. Been a very busy, crazy weekend. That's cool. Yeah. And it says, Happy not telling my age out loud birthday to my fiancé, Joel. I love you with all my heart. Have a fantastic birthday, eat lots of cake, and get spoiled because you de uh, you deserve it. Babushka. XOXO. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to put that in the background now. I should have probably had that from the get-go. I forgot about it out there for a second, but thanks for bringing it in, Babushka. Oh, hey. What are the odds we're going to get a pack uh, hit out of this thing? We just got literally my favorite card I could probably get. You know what? I'm gonna, let's bring these guys in. I just wanted him to come a little closer. He's going to hold that. He's a little off camera. I just want to. I want my boy up here. You know what? We'll take this pokeball. We'll put this back here, and we'll just move him a bit in scene. Gang. Yeah, my little scissor gang. Look at this. I'm being almost overwhelmed with how many scissors there is. I'll put that off there. Good stuff. And then we got this nice brick of gold that we'll open up for last. So yeah, that's really cool. Okay, let's keep going. We got one more pack. Four hits in a row. You're right, Lion Sky. Uh. This is also a hit. This is what I'm calling a hit, too. We'll put the hits back here. Oh, hey. Last pack magic? I'm really happy she sold me that. I mean, she's right. That was the one with the magic wand there, you know? Like, the magic wand did its work, and uh, it turned out to be a really good pack. The best pack I probably could have got. Especially on my birthday of all days. I'm going to remember this forever. Yeah, yeah. That was definitely a surprise. I'm happy. I was not expecting that one bit. Okay, sweep that off to the side code card to someone out there in the audience let's see four to the front as if so happy good boy nice art so we got ourselves a fire energy gotta keep that away get that freak away from my scissor an area dose love area doses what's this one spider net uh if they switch in they are now poisoned sorry is that right uh when you put this pokemon in your hand to evolve your pokemon you may switch in one of your opponent's bench pokemon Ev sorry, benched ev evolution Pokemon, and with their active. Okay, not quite. I was hoping it would poison them on entry. I think that would be a really decent idea. Uh, familiar Bell. Let's see. Search your deck for a Pokemon with the same name as a Pokemon in your Discord pile. Okay, yeah, that's kind of neat. It's like a repeat ball, but slightly different. We get Rose Tower, the big metal tower. Once during each turn, you may draw until you have three cards in their hand. Okay, so it's like a Ranguru, but like a stadium based. Not bad. Different kind of monkey, the Pasimian, not the Oranguru. Call for family. A Mad Party Bumblebee, or Bunnelby. This one is basically made off of Alice in Wonderland, and it does more damage for each of the things that have Mad Party. There is a teacup, the Mad Hatter, all types of cool things. Really neat. Vanillite. Goffatel. A Nick Kit. Really like the artwork on that. That's really nice. Uh, a Reverse Goffatel. And our rare for the pack is a Men Electrate. Manectric. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get, like, a four in a row. Like, I mean, we got four in a row, but we didn't get, like, a rare to finish off that box. But still, that's really decent. I'm definitely happy with that. We got a Scizor. Slight oof. Slight oof. I'm still happy about the outcome of that. Okay. 
Joel's gonna take some of his uh, medicine, and by that I mean Pepsi. I love Pepsi. Okay, um, what's next? We got three options. Four options. Yeah, I'm opening up that Tag Team GX box back there. This is over 100 bucks. Um, what do you think we should do? Oh, code card fell. Should we do the, uh, the Galar Friends collection box first? Or the Champion's Path one, which is a little bit on the harder to find side. Kind of want to save the second to last. Or should we do the Pikachu 10? That's the next three options. Fortunately, has a little scratch there. First one to say one will decide what's opening next. Have a little feedback. Nice shiny doubles. The starter, one. the starter box, okay. The starter box it is. Now this is a very exclusive, uh, not exclusive, but interesting thing there. Came out a little late, has some cool stuff. Pikachu, yeah, it has a really nice art. I've seen these things going for like 15 bucks if you get a, a nice graded version. So I'll make sure to keep very good care of that. Uh, three friends ready for an adventure. Eh. Figure and card are so cute. Yeah, they are. That being said, it looks like there's a four friend there. Forget about Pikachu there. Kind of left Pikachu out of the statue. Oh well. Okay, let's take a look at this box. Ooh, I like the the. I wish you got one of these too. Oh, that's cool. I like the, I just like the packaging, like the packaging is so pretty eye-catching, like I just like the splatter back there, just to say. Okay, eat that to the Shadow Realm. Very carefully, do not bonk the Scizor, do not bonk the Newts, that's not allowed. Ooh, I would love to get a Santa Conda card, I think that'd be nice. Alright, careful. Oh, they did this one a little differently, they put it like a little... Okay, it's balancing on my hand there. There we go. Happy birthday, Joel. Hey, thank you. We're opening up some really fun looking cards there. Like, look at this Pikachu card. Isn't that nice? Imagine just having a play set of these Pikachu cards if you were running on like a ride shoe deck or something. Well, gotta be careful not to get my fingerprints too much on this. I actually ended up pulling my favorite Pokemon there, Benny, just a few minutes ago. See that? We got a Hyper Rare Scizor VMAX card, as if. And a nice promo there, definitely a very nice card. Iron Tail for 30 damage, and flip a coin until you get Tails. This does 30 more for each head. Electro Ball for, uh, let's see, 60 damage. Okay, nice cool. Man. Get ourselves some new packs. There's a special code card in this one, but I'm going to be holding on to the special code card, because that's something I'll be opening up later there. That's like a little treat for me. And then we also get this thing right here. I'll toss the trash away. Good. Uh, we get ourselves a nice little statue here. The free starters here. Very cute. Got, I'm a Grookey Gang member. I was originally going to be a, a Hop Scorch kind of guy, and then we got Squabble. Oh, yeah. Really will be. I heard they're all doing pretty decent there. I can't. Here's the weird thing, though. They have the VMAX, right? But they're not the form change. They're just the original thing, but bigger. So wait till they come out with the Gigamax, not the Dynamax ones, you know? There you go, a nice little figure. Can we slip that up there? Yeah, I'll slip that up there. Okay, we got ourselves some packs. Throw that code card away. Ooh, I'm not happy they're switching it out from Steam Siege and Evolutions to Guardian Risings, because there's a chance you might get a, a good energy out of that. Open it. We're opening. We're going. We're going. Hydrate twice. Hydrate twice. I hear ya. I hear ya. Gotta keep your talking voice nice and good, right? Mmm. Okay, let's continue. Big gulp. So we got ourselves the Guardians Rising, which was a really nice set, actually. I really liked it. I liked the kind of, you know, sunset vaporwave. I thank you. Yeah. To me, my wonderful Babushka. I love her s more than anything in the world. Even Scizor. Don't tell Scizor that, though. You might get offended. Okay. Oh, we're happy. We're happy. There you go. Code card for someone in the audience. And I believe it's four, right? Yeah, it's four. Da 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 da. Get a fairy energy. Don't get those no more. 
A Sudowodo with Roadblock, very good abilities, as you can only have four bench on your opponent's side. If you get something like Skyfield, you can have up to eight or so. And uh, there you go, see Field Blower. It's just really good, you, you nerf your opponents. Choice Ban, an extremely good card. That said you did an extra 30 damage, GX, EX cards. I wish they had updated to see V cards, so I think that'd be neat. Gligar, love Gligar, one of my favorite Pokemon. There's actually a meme deck where he alone is the main attacker. He, he poisons, and it says if you're poisoned, you're just paralyzed, and you give it a 75% chance. Bellsprout, love Bellsprout. One of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon from Sprout Tower and Ho Ho, the Ho Ho Tower. Copper Tower? Burning Tower? Anyway. Cottony, not too special. Love the Alolan Sand Shrew, but I think it's just a Snow Shrew. Like, realistically, it's a Snow Shrew at this point. Get a Snuffle? Eh. A little Fletchling, cute. And the rare for the pack is, hey, a Victini. Nice. It's actually a really good Victini. This one uh, actually went with my old favorite Gliscor. I'll Photoshop that in the uh, the video edited version there. So this one says that if you flip coin, you have a chance to reflip it if you want. So there was a Gligar that said that if you get heads, they're poisoned and paralyzed for the turn. So they're stunned for a turn, they couldn't attack you. And let's say I got tails, then this guy would actually help them out on the side there. So it's kind of neat to see that. Okay, let's keep this going. There we go. Sleeve that up. Getting a lot of good hits out of my packs there. But I always worry about the bell curve where it's like, ooh, maybe the next ones aren't going to be so good, you know? Yeah, you're thinking the next pack is a V or G? Okay, let's just toss this stuff aside so I have some space. I'll get my sleeves a little bit ready there because, you know, we're going to be pulling some V maxes. Oh wow! Thanks, mobs. <laughs> ah, my best old friend there. There we go. Cool. There we go. Wow. Thanks, mobs. Uh, that's amazing. Uh, be... <laughs> oh hey, let's keep going. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, which call out there? So that gets everybody entered into like a special giveaway later on uh, in the Discord. I'll tell you at the end of the month thing there. But thanks, moms. Nice treat. That audio is going to just be going for a couple of minutes there. Whew. Thanks, man. Thank you. Okay, so let's continue there. Ah, I can't say thank you enough. It's just going to keep going. I, I mean, thank you so much. Um, okay, I'll try to go through. Uh, Metro said that this was going to be a VMAX or GMAX. I'll give you a benefit of the doubt and say it's one of these two packs, since they're similar. Alright. Keep cracking. <laughs> Alright, let's see. It's worth the audio alone, eh? <laughs> what we got here? Redeem the command. Worth it for the audio alone. Oh, okay, so if you want, you can add a command and mess up my stream sometime or something, you know, you, you can, we'll figure something out there. Hey, right. code card for somebody in the audience. Go for a four in the front. Thanks again, like, whew. You're really validating what I'm doing here. Okay, we got us some fighting energy. A hey, more Grim to go with that uh, Grim Snarl that we got earlier, so. Eh, it's not quite a hit, but you know, it's still nice to put in the binder. Pop a Toad, scoop up net, very useful card, says you're allowed to pick something up. Sir Farfetch, nice. Kind of looks like a blade right there. You know, it's just his wing, but it almost looks like a knife shape. But I see it's the handle. Anyway, okay, we got ourselves a little hungry uh, chipmunk squirrel thingamajiggy, a Mr. Mime, Caterpie, a Barbroach, another shiny little thing. Uh, Joel, keep the codes. Use them. It's your birthday. Nah, I like to give away to my audience there a lot there. So, um, like I said, we have some giveaways. Let's see. Uh. Support a stream by forcing an ad. Okay, we'll open this pack, we'll just, and then we'll force an ad. <laughs> uh, the Hungry Hungry Squirrel. Hey, you called it, and that's actually a really good card. Oh, sweet. Uh, okay, so this one is Happy March, and it says that you can put this down on your bench, and you can get a supporter card from your discard back. That can help you win games. This is, at one point, a $20 card. This was a good hit. You were right. As if. Metro, as if you called that. And thanks for all the good luck, everybody. Oh, as if. As if. Good stuff. All right. We're going to take a one-minute break there, a little pause there, because uh, Cabalfa says force an ad, and I'm going to have myself a sip of hop and, like, go insane. Oh, let's see. Whew. 
Oi, there's the end. <laughs> I don't get the ad. <laughs> Is it just a chair? <laughs> oh, it's because you're a moderator, I think, so it skips you. That skip. No. Still says it's remaining for chair 20 content. seconds. Chair content, eh? I didn't get either. Love what? That. What is that? Okay, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. I wonder why that didn't work. I mean, it'd be kind of weird to put another one. Maybe we all could refund the points there, Cabalfo. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure why it didn't work for most people, but regardless, five. It tells me four, three, two, one, and the second one will be gone. Uh, what do you see? Out of command. Pokey twerk. I didn't get it either. Huh, that's weird. I think it's because a lot of you guys um, have Prime slash... Oh, it's because you guys are all um, subs now. So technically, that's one of the, the bonuses that you get is you don't have to see an ad. Huh. Okay. Oh, regardless, thanks anyways, uh, mobs just threw basically like a good, uh, probably like 30 bucks, 40 bucks towards the stream, so that's, you know, thanks again mobs there, uh, you know, supports the content, supports all types of things. Now let's get some music going again, because it looks like my I music kind of, was that? Let's see. Uh, I broke the stream, you borked it, yes. LOL. Like that t doggo, you borked it. Oh, yeah, let's continue. As if you actually called that. As if. Yeah, sorry for the minute of chair content for those who got the chair content. But as if you called that. Holy smokes. Freaking good luck charm. I don't know what it is, but the kids, the the junior division of the Pokemon League, always get the best luck. They always get, like, I'll tell you, one kid ended up getting a hyper rare Charizard. It was all glittery like this scissor here. A uh, full art Guzma and a gold choice ban, all in free packs when you win from a tournament. The kids call it, they get the best luck. Hey, we caught someone else there. We ever grow stronger. Um, what am I? Two, two hundred and fifty-five ish people. You know, making amassing a little army here. That's it, man. Good call. Good call too. Again, I'm still flabbergasted. Okay. You know what? We'll skip this pack because, like, I mean. Obviously, you hit the real good one there. So we'll go for this one there. Cosmic Quest. I'd love to get this uh, triple dragon card here. It almost looks like it's the poison type. Uh, time out somebody. Time out Lion Sky. Done. Drink water and straighten your posture, boy. Oh, okay, okay. I'm trying. I am trying. Time out Lion Sky. Boop. Congratulations. You've received 100 messages today. Oh, no. Lion Sky got uh, de booped. You booped him. You know, maybe that's what we should call it. Booped, boop of someone in the chat. That'd be a good command. Hey, Kabalfa cheered. Here's to you, Kabalfa. Uh, let's see. Make sure that's good. Okay, let's get back into this. Hey, right. so let's see if we can't get ourselves not a double dragon, but a triple dragon. That's like the main, the main pull here. That's what everybody wants there. Six hundred and sixty seconds. That's like ten minutes. I'll I'll get I'll get him back sooner than that. We'll see. Anyways, uh, blah blah blah. Getting all sidetracked with all the craziness that happened there. Uh, let's continue. Uh, let's see. We have ourselves the uh, Cosmic Eclipse pack, the final set of the Sun and Moon era. Uh, very nice set. They have these really cool character cards in it. Toss the trash. Toss that. Oh, green code card. That's weird they changed it around like that. So that's usually a bad sign when you see green. That means that there's nothing too crazy. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. Four to the front. Get ourselves a lightning energy. A Pangoro. A Rabidash. Barbaria. A Tangela. Dust Skull. I like the dabbing Dust Skull from one of the previous sets. It was nicer. You guys have a Timel. A Piplup, which is really cool. We got someone else. Oh! Until one, until one. Oh, unit one, unit one. Oh, yeah. And our rare, or sorry, reverse is a trap pinch. <laughs> and which McCall? We get ourselves a weevil. Yeah! A weevil. Okay, Cabalfa. <laughs> okay, let's go over the last pack and then I'll untime them in a bit. We get ourselves a Rebels Clashback. I don't know if that counts as spam or not. <laughs> Alright. Grab the packs. Here's the code card for somebody in the audience. 
Oh boy, Kabalfa. Kabalfa! Stop it! <laughs> Gonna have to make the voicing not say it, but the voicing says it. Let's see, we get ourselves a fire energy. Gotta keep that away from the Elagross and the Talent Flame. You just gotta take that and take it away in there like that. You can't get... Get ourselves a Luxio with top entry. Very nice. A Draco. That's cool, actually. We, we opened up a tin earlier with its evolved form there. And it's just a really cool looking Pokemon line. There you go. Mobs has the Newt. I see, I see. Draco. Okay. Bronzong. Like my metal Pokemon. Let's see. Gyro Ball. Does 70. And uh, switch your opponent's bench one. Neat. Switch this, switch this Pokemon. Hone Edge. Impidimp. Now we actually have the whole line now, I think of it. A Magmar. Electro Buzz, some old callback Pokemon. Another one of those squirrels. Ooh, a glaring mass. That is really cool. I actually thought it would be nice to free print this. And a Chandelure. Ooh, this one's neat. Protective Glow. All your Pokemon that have any at energy attached to them have no weakness. There you go, so you can't hit them for double damage. Well, I guess if he's on the team, then Scizor and the Elder Gloss here don't have to worry as much because they have fire protection, you know? There you go. All right, so you put that aside. Give me a second there. Squad. All right, I think I brought Lion Sky back in. Warning: Unfortunately, some of these specific rules were unable to add for Lion Sky. Well, I say so. Add it. Lion Sky, let me know if you're back or not. I'm not sure if it fully worked. Cabalpha might have bonked it. Jer might have bonked it. Everybody might have bonked it. Everything's bonked. Okay, right, let's continue. So, that was actually a pretty good pack opening. There we go. Uh, what am I looking for now? I guess another thing to open there. Ooh, what do you got there? That's cool. I like that emoticon. Alright, so let's continue. We got ourselves a Pikachu 10. I think that's what we should do after the Pikachu promo thing that you gave me out there. Hey! Hey, Orange Pulse, thanks for the sub, man! Oh, no, I accidentally bopped a Lion Sky. Hey, thanks, man! You know, we're gonna use my cool knife for this one there. There you go. <laughs> I, I'm on my second account. I'm Deb. I'm sorry, man. I bonked you there. You even helped me out earlier. We'll blame... We'll blame... Uh, whatchamacallit? Cabalfa for that. Um, let's see. Um, Mobs for the win says Orange Paul sucks. But I think you both are really cool. But I will say, no offense, Mobs is cooler. Known him for 10 plus years at this point. Gotta give him props, you know? But I thank you. Thank you. Cabalfa, I'm mad at you. I, I see that. Okay, well, let's continue with the, the fun, the cheering, and all that stuff. We got ourselves this nice little Pikachu. Unfortunately, got a little scratch here, so it's kind of like the paint job's chipped a bit. Yeah. There we go. Oh, you're Bando for another like minute or two, eh? Okay, we got ourselves a nice tin here. Let's see, V, powers are for your collection. <laughs> Jumped into it in the stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's fun to get back into the cards there. It's fun to like relive the childhood, the, the joy of like catching them all, having all those little slots filled in. It's great, it's great. I would recommend people hold on to their cards and uh, do not get rid of them. Like, you know, you're gonna, you want to see them in 10 years, you know? There you go. A little bit more trash. It's flicked off. Get ourselves a Pikachu. Comes with a code card. We're holding on to this code card because, you know, I like to collect the promo cards. That's like my little treat, you know. We get ourselves a nice little Pikachu V card. There was an Eevee and an Eternamax, but I thought the Pikachu was the nicest one. It's the fan favorite, you know. So I'm really happy about that. Very nice artwork on this one, too. Plus, it's evolved, uh, it has the, uh, the big boy version of the Pikachu, and it's really chunky and really strong. Apparently, it's winning in Japan. What do we get here? Darkness, Darkness, Rebel, Sun and Moon, and a Fates Collide. What? I haven't seen a Fates Collide in a long while. Raichu is pretty good. We need to get Gorochu. There we go. Fates Collide. I haven't seen a Fates Collide in forever. <laughs> it's just kind of always celebrating. Okay, which way is the code card on this? I guess this way. So there you go. Code card for somebody in the audience. 
Let's see. We're getting a lot of nice packs today. I think it's this than that. I could be wrong. The uh, free goes before the two. Get us a little diglet. Diggle dig, diggle dig, diggle d. I get us boink. Boink. Coughing. Don't want to cough on me because of the current environment we're currently in. Uh, Vulture Egg. Uh, let's see. Rylu. Uh, thing that actually won the World Championships. Uh, who would have thought Odino would win? Get ourselves a wiggly thing. It's kind of like the same. They're just This one's a little bit pinker and this one's a little bit whiter, you know? Get ourselves a Lord Helix Fossil. Praise Helix. Get ourselves a Burmy Egg and... Da 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 da! What the? As if! As if! We get ourselves a full art Mega Alakazam, and that's like the guy on the pack! Well, I mean, it's, just, it's not. Is it the Mega? Yeah, it is the Mega! How? That's nice. What the heck? As if! Uh, nice to see the old throwaway pack is, uh. You know, there's something great there! Holy smokes! Alright, let's continue. Get ourselves some newer packs. You know what? I feel like we're going to do another Darkness of Blaze pack. Then we'll do it in reverse there. Still got about half the packs remaining. Well, we got this booster box. This little special Japanese booster box. Now that's going to be fun to crack open. That's the real treat this year. Shout out to uh, DJ's Collectibles in Iroquois Falls, I believe. Uh, he's the one who hooked me up with the option to get that. And it's just a really cool thing. You don't find these things too often. Darkness of Blaze. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of luck on these. Holy smokes. I what was this? This was a... I just forgot what it just tore away. I think it was the Sun and Moon? No, it was a Darkness Blaze. We got to four. And the main Lion's Sky has come back. There you go. After this pack, I'll mod you up there again. Here's those the Psychic Energy. A Gothletel. A Kabu. Uh, let's see. It says, uh, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw four cards. If your active Pokemon is your only Pokemon play, get yourself eight more. Ah, cool. We've caught another one. Nice. The Cabalfa's cheers are going off forever. Let's see. We've got a Turbo Patch. Very useful card. It says you're allowed to attach a basic energy from your discard to one of your GX. A Pokemon that is not a GX. Very good card. Very good for Turbo decks. Grimer. A little uh, snowman here. A Galarian Dermaka. Yeah, centric. Love Centric. One of my favorites. Rowlet. This is cute. Hey, uh, Lion Sky. If uh, you end up winning some cards, I'm going to send you the Rowlet because I know you like Rowlets too. Uh, Sai Skirkus says if you use the Bird Keeper card, it gets to attack for free. That's neat. Get a chubby boy. Look at that chubby. We get ourselves a trap pinch. Let's see, let's see. Time out somebody. Captain Cabalfa. You know what? Sounds good. And our rare for the pack is an Aragron. Nice. <laughs> After all that spam of the one cent emotes there, uh, Orange Pulse's subscribe finally came on in. Thanks, man. <laughs> uh... Oh, we caught somebody else too, too. Who was it? Uh, there's, uh, uh, Suda the Suda. <laughs> okay, then. Give me a second there to mod up Lion Sky there, so he, uh, let's see, how do I mod up Lion Sky? I can, gotta go to the other thing there. You know what? I think we should stop banning our mods and things. Okay. Oh, let's see. My nephew's going to be coming over for some dinner and a few drinks and some nice cheesecake for dessert. And he's asking me if we're late. And yeah, that's good too. Uh, he says 9 instead of 8.30. That's fine, because I actually probably needed a little bit more time, honestly. Okay, just monitoring everything. Hmm, how can I do that? Sorry, one moment, guys. Just trying to... Tricky interfaces. You know how they are, they are right? Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to let it go. I'm just going to let it go. We're just going to let it go. Stop banning each other from the thing. I know it's funny, but at the same time, it's making it difficult for me to do things. Uh, let's see. Hash mod. Uh, let's see. Mod somebody. Alliance guy. This guy with a couple Ys in there. There you go. Alliance guy is now a mod again. All right. Let's keep going. we got some more packs to crack over. We're stalling on this, guys. You guys keep banning each other. I know it's funny. Rebel Clash is what we'll go for next. There you go. You know, I'm surprised that, uh, you know, I haven't uh, modified Lone Wolf Axel or Kevin Gabalfa, because you guys are always hanging around the stream. You're always, you're good to me, you know? Should be mods too, I think. Anyway, get ourselves a code card for someone in the audience. We got uh, four to the front. 
Let's get back into the speed of this. We got a Darkness Energy, Pilo Sand, a Milo, Grass Boy, and a Grass Boy Stadium. There we go. Let's see. Discard two cards from your hand. Draw two cards for each card you discard in this way. It's kind of like Roxy's, but like not poison based. Turfield Stadium. Evolution Grass Pokemon. Search for them. Okay, cool. Electro Buzz. Stop banning everybody. <laughs> we got Natu. Natu D2. Let's see. We got a Hone Edge. Love Hone Edge. Impidimp. He's chilling. Magmar. It's funny. We always seem to get Magmar and where is he? Get a buried him. Magmar and Electabuzz in the same pack. I know you notice that happens quite often. Okay. Ooh, a Dreepy Reverse. Sweet. Actually, really, I'm really happy for that. I didn't actually have a Dreepy Reverse in my binder, so now I have a nice sh shiny spot. And the rare for the pack is da 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 da. A nose pass. Eh, nothing too crazy on that one. But still. We have lots of cool things. We got our boy Scizor, a lot of cool packs, and just stuff to open. Sun Moon, come on for an energy. I'm really hoping for an energy or perhaps something, but I don't you never get the energies. They're secret rares after all. Code card for somebody. Four to the front. Wait. Yeah, okay, it's good enough. Fire energy, a potion to heal that burn. A trumbeak. Let's see. Can't win them all of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I got some pretty good nice hits so far. I guess that was like, uh, the bat, the, the, the don't boop it, Pokemon HQ, send out a tweet says, Can you boop Dratini? You do not boop anything. This is a non-boop consensual place. No boops are allowed, okay? Especially on the newts. Yeah. Yeah, you used to be in, uh, you used to uh, do a lot of unboxings back in the day, didn't you? I don't know, it's still fun. I'm, I'm still doing it after like two, three years. Okay, so it's a cutie fly. I love it. I love bumblebees. Not so much flies, but I really do like this Pokemon. Really cute. My nickname when I was a baby was Bumblebee, actually. Kitty, uh, you yeah, know, Chinchow? A Morlil. Hey, a Metal Bird. Metal Bird words. A Snuffle. And the rare for the pack is another Bruxious. I have like 15 Bruxious, man. I have too many Bruxious. Oh, anyway. Darkness Ablaze. And then we have one more Champion's Path. And then this gold brick here. So we got a Darkness Ablaze pack. Come on, is it luck enough to be on my side? I doubt I'm going to get a Charizard. There's no way in heck I'm going to get it. It's like impossible. But yet, Lion Sky somehow got several of them. Code card. Get it? Yeah, right there. Maybe there. No, there you go. Gone. Lost your chance. Hope that wasn't too blurry. Port of the front. Fire energy for Lion Sky's Charizard, but it stays away from my Scizor. It's four times effective after all. It's Rose Tower. Good for... Uh, what is that? Metal Pokemon? Draw until you have three cards. Oh, yeah. Sweeney, a Denny with Mad Party. I guess he's the rabbit. No, rabbit. The mouse. The mouse at the Mad Party. Good Torchic. Nice little Play-Doh animation. That's really nice. Good Trap Pinch. A Jigglypuff. Get ourselves a Duck. Kerblast. A Wishy Washy Reverse. Uh, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw eight cards. Nice. That's not bad. That's a good uh, option to refresh your hand. And the rare for the pack is a Vinalux, which we ended up getting a whole bunch of them for that pre-release kit. It was pretty kit or pretty decent value. You get yourselves a nice promo for packs. Uh, it's almost the better way of getting packs, if you ask me. It's like you get uh, a bunch of extra cards. Okay, take that aside. Okay, I'm out of things to open here. We gotta take this stuff, clean up the bench. Um, where is it? Where did I put that sheet box? Now these packs. Ah, there it is. Buried it under all the trash here. Hey. Right. So this thing, Champion's Path, they're very hard to get your hands on these boxes. This one was selling for a premium, unfortunately. You know, oof. But anyway, Champion's Path, um, the hype is because there's a Charizard in it. Everybody's going nuts about it. Uh, it's very premium. We have ourselves a nice little Wooloo, double, sorry. Yeah. This was the last one at the, the local card shop there. And they're like, man, I know you love your Pokemon cards. Do you want the last box? I was like, yeah, kind of. I go and a little bit pricey. These things have been selling like crazy on the resale value. Double, I want to see the box for a moment here. Double, double it up with double V. All that deep, warm wool protects double V from attacks. Yeah, just skim it. So, let's carefully... Let's careful. The Ram Boy. Yeah, this is one of your friends that you'd bring to... Ram... Well, you know what? I shouldn't say that joke out loud. That's a bad joke. Anyway. This one, I was actually using it in a deck today online, on Pokemon Train Card Game Online. So this one is a alternate art, very nice. And it has soft will, it says it takes uh, 30 less damage from a hit. And on top of that, if something got knocked out, 
or for each thing that did get knocked out, it does three more damage. So it's a nice little surprise late game. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. There you go. That's uh, I'm happy to get that. We also get a big boy card. It'd be fun to play like a giant deck of these. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And there's going to be a UV card apparently come a set or two from now. But yeah, they're, uh, they just changed the letters so that certain attacks and combos don't work. They don't want to get too broken. That's why they keep it fresh. But a, a part of me kind of wishes it would be the same. But you know, it is what it is. Get a nice Jumbo. I end up actually having uh, about maybe... I'm going to say like good 25 of these Jumbo cards. Just put that back there. Okay. Champion's Path. Now these are the newest set. Very hard to find. Very pretty. Keeping the code card because it has a special promo thing. Ditching this. That's uh, I believe the, uh, the the grass guy? No, that's Hop's favorite Pokemon. Hop. There you go. Look at all these Gardevoir packs. Nocturnal Heart was here. He'd be nuts for that. Hey, these ones are really hard to go for, and every pack has a rare in it. And here I am just ripping the thing apart. Okay. I am keeping the code cards from these ones, because these ones are impossible to find online. They're like, they're very expensive right now, that I just, that are my treat to myself there, guys. Yeah. Okay, we got our fire energy. A Hatterene. There we go, a little Blair Witch, basically. Another Piers? Oh, that's interesting, I guess they've redone Piers again. Uh, it says search for dark ones. I wonder if the art's different or the same. It's probably different. No, it's probably the same, actually. What am I saying? Sharpedo with Aqua Jet. Eh, nothing too crazy. A Squaggy. A Full Heal. A Rock Ruff. Ooh, I like the artwork on that one. That's definitely going to the Keep Pile. A Zigzagoon with Pin Missile. Does 10 for 4 flips. Ah, Weedle. I, I love Beedrill. Being a Bumblebee there. Uh, I like the Claymations ones a lot. I used to collect the Claymations. We get ourselves a Hot Reverse. Draw three cards, nothing too crazy. But you know, it's perfect that we got it in the box with the double wheel, so yeah, that's about right. And the rare for the pack is a Professor's Research. At one point, this card was going for about $7, like $5 a card kind of thing. Uh, it has gone down a lot since they got a few reprints, but definitely a nice card to pull a hollow of. Uh, I'd rather that than some of the Pokemon, to be honest. Hey, right. another Champion's Path, but I'm going to try to keep in the pack art intact so I can put it in my weird box. Of nope, I messed it up already. See, it's kind of ripped up here. Oh, well. Just a weird thing, you know? We all have our weird little collection things. My babushka used to collect... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, yeah, keeping the cool card. She used to collect keychains. What do you guys collect? I imagine a lot of you collect Pokemon. Four to the front. Four to the front seems about right. Always scared. So we get ourselves a Metal Energy. Another Hat. Another Piers. Another Sharpedo. It's the same line almost. Ooh, a Newt. Hey, that's really good. Uh, that's actually really nice. Get ourselves an Ekans. Don't boop that. We're going to count that as an honorary hit. Still have key chains. Yeah, you still have the keychains. Eh? You do have so, quite a few of them. Another Knit Kit. A Rolly Rock. Rolly Coley, sorry. Uh, Scraggy. A Glaring Lagoon. I just like that artwork. Just... Now, LOL. Let's see. I collect car, uh, uh, basketball cards and Jordan shoes. Well, there you go. You know, one hobby to another. We get ourselves a can of suspicious food. Ooh, yeah, that's actually, that, those shoes could be some really heavy collecting there. I know. Oh, yeah, we get ourselves a, a poison can of food here. It says, let's see, heal 80 damage from one of your Pokemon that has at least one psychic energy attached to it. If you healed any damage, discard a psychic energy. Hmm. Can of poisonous food. And a rare for the pack, da 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 da, is a Dreadnought V Max Hyper Rare. Oh, we get a big Koopa. There you go. That's actually a pretty nice hit. Solid Shell takes pretty less damage. G-Max Headbutt does 160. Uh, flip a coin if heads. Does 80 more. There you go. It has a lot of tanky HP too. But here's the fun thing. I love my boy Scizor, right? He's my favorite. I love him. I'm surprised he has the same amount of HP. Even though this one's supposed to be like the extra big, uh, different, mutatious look to it. And this one's just a regular one, but big, you know? They have the same HP. Uh, let's see, what does Max Scissors even do? Or Hard Scissors, does 90 damage. Uh, during your opponent's next turn, takes, uh, let's see, this Pokemon takes 10 less damage. 30 less damage, okay. And uh, Steel Spike. Yeah. Well, there we go, we got some Hyper Rares, we're going to keep them aside, and a Poisonous Can of Food, and a Newt. You know, that's the real hit right there, the Newt. 
But anyways, let's keep going. Another champion's pack. Now, I really got to make sure this art is intact because I really want to keep one sample and I messed it up quite a bit. I know it's weird, but like we all have our weird little things and I have a big tin of just old pack arts from like eons ago. Fun thing is, eh, I messed it up harsh up there. A base set pack art goes for like 100 bucks sometimes. Especially if it's like a misprint label. And see how I just messed this all up completely? I'm going to hold on to it, but even though sample, whatever, it's kind of weird. You know what? One for the audience. There you go. Champion's Path is a really hard to get card, like I said. Then we'll move on to the Japanese ones after these packs are done. Four to the front. A Metal Energy. Team Yell Grunts. Pokemon Center Lady. The Great Ball. I'm more of an Ultra Ball kind of guy. Got one back here, but you can't see it that well. A Trash Boy, we got ourselves Trubbish, Venusock does 20 damage, and if they're poisoned, it does an extra 50, which is an interesting little donk deck. Some people actually made it work. Really coolly, good for the collection. Kakuna Matata, nice. Love this Pokemon. This upside down. What was? Wow. I'm not sure what's upside down at this point. Anyways, let's see. Zigzagoon, Curvine, a Machop. Machoke, actually, I should say it wrong. And the rare for the pack is da 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 da. Ooh, nice. I'm actually really happy to get uh, Galarian Corsola or Cursula V. Oh yeah, the code card. I like to make it harder on people. There, you know, can't have it that easy. But we get ourselves a nice Corsola, Galarian Corsola V. I mean, there's no other Cursulas, I should say. I'm actually a big fan of the pre-evolution and the VCG. Uh, it's just immortal. You put an envy light on it, its defenses go up by 1.5 each for special and normal defense, and then it just saps HP and lives forever. But this one has an interesting ability. It says, uh, gnawing? Yeah. Gnawing Aurora. Uh, let's see, as long as this is a Pokemon in your active spot, uh, you put free damage counters on to your opponent's Pokemon. Neat. Not and Pin Missile. I like that. I'm actually really happy to get that. Not when you one-shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a really good tanky Pokemon until our, one of our good VCG players, you know, knocks it out real quick. That being said, guys, check out our Discord links to save you. Write uh, exclamation mark des uh, Discord or exclamation mark Pokemon. It'll lead you there. Uh, links down below and all that jazz if you're on Twitter. Sorry, Twitch. And yeah, we're doing a giveaway. We're doing, uh, let's see, seven Ultra Rares mailed out, um, seven code cards of Doctors of Blaze to a lucky winner. Uh, we're also doing seven minutes of getting shiny Pokemon through VCD trade, and also seven games on Steam. We're, uh, we're giving away some games in the Joel 1000 down the Discord. Yeah, just a nice little giveaway. I like to give back to the community there. So, thanks. Check it out. Anyways, keep my code card, because I want to keep the code card for this one. Let's see, four to the front. Pretty nice box though, we got two good hits out of it. Get ourselves a fire energy. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's one of the gym leaders' favorite Pokemon too. Kabu, gym leader. Okay. A choke, a Victini, peace man. Uh, another Roly Coley, Kuna Matata, a Zigzagoon. We're getting a lot of the same there. We get a Carvana. Scraggy guys Press pulling up their pants. Okay. Ah, we caught someone. A reverse Piers, and our rare for the pack is. <gasps> A gold card! A, a poisonous can of food card! What? Three hits out of this box. This is a good box. Oh, look at that. I don't know what to say. I, I It's a poisonous can of food that heals poison Pokemon. You know what? There you go. Corsola, you can have that. Om nom nom. There you go. Om nom nom. There you go. Good stuff. Flexed biceps, flexed biceps, white smiling face. <sighs> we also got a reverse, but... Gold card! Nice, nice. Okay, guys, we're getting down to the wire here. We're getting down to the wire. We pulled the, the scissor. We had all types of cool Pokemon here. Tons of packs, tons of code cards given out. Things in the Discord, all that jazz. This, this one's mine. Um, now we're going to the gold brick, okay? Here we have ourselves is a special Japanese-only set where in the set, they basically released a bunch of the tag team cards as gold cards. We never got them in America slash Canada. On top of that, there's a thing called a God Pack. Yeah, this is my biggest one. This box alone is 100 bucks, Easy. Okay? And inside here, there's a chance you can get a pack of cards that has like 10 ultra rares in one pack. It's called God Pack. Now, to get that a God Pack, I heard it's like one... I think it's like one in like 25 boxes has a gold card pack. But you know what? Let's go. Let's go. 
Let's see, you're from Italy. Uh, I don't know much, I don't know any Italian. Arrivederci? No, that's goodbye, isn't it? I'm not sure what hello is, but hello, my friend. From Canada to you. Take a sip before I get into this nice brick. Ah, let's get refreshed. Okay, guys. There we go. Let's be gentle with these. There we go. Here's me ruining what it probably would be a $200 box in the future, I'll tell you. There we go. This is the, the best part. The best part. So we got a, like, a little thing that goes like this. A little folded piece here. Gotta make it presentable. Come on now. So in it, we get this special little paper here. Let's take a look at this. Come on now. It's kind of hard to get it out. Oh, it folds out like this. Okay, that's interesting. Ooh. Okay, everybody back up, back up. Scissor back up. We get ourselves our first pack of G... Uh, Tag Team All-Stars GX. Nice it is nice. This is a, like, $15 pack right here. Okay. And I like how they still have the uh, the long packs there. Yeah. I'm keeping you... I'm slow rolling, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Probably give away some of the... Uh, the Japanese cards later on. And I love they still have the original back arts. Or actually not the original original, but like the Japanese back arts there. Okay, I do not know the trick. Okay. So you yourselves a bird. You remember the birds of the words? Lion Sky, that was a good deck, wasn't it? The birds of the words. Sneasel. Okay. Magnemite. Love Magnemite. Oh, look at the hair on that Alolan uh, Doug Trio. Very good. I think her name was Lisa or something like that? Fighting Dojo. We get ourselves a Cartana Rare, and then look at the borders on this. Like, just take a second to appreciate the the difference between a Japanese... One moment. Sorry, I'm, like, digging back here for a card. There you go. Hollow. The difference between the Japanese and the Americans there. Like, look at that. Isn't that nice with the border? Very sharp. I won't be... I guess I should sleeve it, actually. What am I saying? So I think there's going to be a lot more hollows in these ones. Ah, yes. A Moltres... This is very pretty. These are definitely going in the collection. Nice Moltres cart. Not what do I say Moltres? This is Zapdos. Jesus. I'm a little flabbergasted. These are nice, so I'm really happy to get these. And we get ourselves a Rayquaza. The the original Space Dragon. Very nice. Okay, that's the rare. We get ourselves a nice fighting energy reverse too. Oh, sweet! We get ourselves a tag team card. This is I didn't I'm I was surprised to see two GXs in there, guys. Two of them. Now, this is an alternate art of the uh, Trevenant and Desnor card with a really sick attack that says, uh, take two cards from your opponent's hand and just tell them to go in your deck. Like, just, it really nerfs their abilities. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleeve up the more precious things. I know one of my boys in the league would probably love that. I'll probably send it his way at some point. Let's keep cracking. Uh, I'm excited there. Gotta, gotta catch all of them. Okay. Already off the great start. Oh, every pack in this set has a great card. So I don't know, what was it? I think it might have been one to the front, maybe. Well, it's just a reverse. Okay, well, I'm messing it up. You know, I don't know that if there's a special pack trick. I'm sorry, I'm going slow on that. Get it, says the Kangaskhan. Neato. A Vaporeon. Isn't that a cute art? I bet you my buddy there who collects evolutions would love that. A Diglett. Love it. Computer search. Now there's actually some special arts of the computer searches in this set. We get ourselves a grove tile. A special electric power. This one was a Japanese exclusive. We never got the art for this one. Uh, they did do a little special trainer box where they released five of the nine arts. And this is one of the, I guess, the seven, you know, six to nine arts there. We get ourselves, da 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 da. Ooh, look at that Blastoise. That is such a nice hollow pattern with that blue there. Holy smokes. Okay, keep going. 
A Yavelta? Dang, I'm going to switch out a lot of the cards in my binder for the Japanese ones. I just think they're really pretty for collection's sake. We get ourselves a Lucario and Mel Metal. Nice. They're really good. An Electric Energy. And a... What do we got here? We got ourselves a Reverse... Uh, not Esper. I can't remember the Evolve form of this guy. I think this is the male version too, actually. Meowstick, that's what it is. So let's take a look there. Yeah, there was a bird at some point. You know what, I'm just going to put these over here, even though they're not sleed. I just, I don't think, I think that other one was an alternate art, though. So that's cool. Okay, sorry, let's keep going. Gonna keep this. Yeah, Velto is a bird, you're right, you're right. Kinda, he's a bacon bird, you know. Not sure how you get bacon and birds together, but uh, the scientist in the Pokemon universe somehow made a device that caused it to happen. They're kind of easier to actually open through the bottom, I find. Okay. Bumbling it. This is going to be the god pack, and I'm going to just destroy it. Bird is the word. It was the whole word for an entire stream once. Get ourselves a cute little munchlax here. A Paris. Checking out some mushrooms. The other Meowstic. Not reverse this time. Fiery Flint. A Satchel. I actually got two gold cards of this, I think. Uh, Wisdom Caught? No, Wiz... I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Let's keep going. Get ourselves a Mel Metal. Ooh, that's sharp. That's definitely going in the binder. Get ourselves a Victini. Looking very peaceful in the field. A Wishy-Washy. Ah, nobody wants a Wishy-Washy. Keep going. Hey, Water Energy to go with the Wishy-Washy. That's really nice. And a Incineroar. The one with the ability that does 30 more damage because it's cheering on its opponents. Okay. Every pack is guaranteed at least one good thing, but I did notice that that first tag team pack, right? Um, it had the Dusnor and uh, Trevenant. That was an alternate art, and it was two in one pack, so I think that might have been a, a special pack. Let's just hope we get a gold card. That's like the big, the big thing. Maybe we get that rare Mewtwo and Mew or Charizard gold card. That'd be sick. We get our little cells of Tyrogue, being a little fighter guy. Let's see. A berry. The picky pick that needs the berry. An alternate arc of the Acrobike. So that's really cool. Uh, Mount Cornet, I think. Sightseer, alternate arc. We ended up getting this one as a promo. A Landorus. Ooh, very strong Pokemon. A Naganadel. Very nice. A tree, uh, sorry, um, a Skeptile. This is actually my Gen Freeze starter, so that's cool. We get ourselves a Steel Energy, happy to get that. And the last thing we get is a Fuba Reverse. I find their reverses aren't as crazy as ours, because we have this nice little texture. But yeah, they are nice, and the borders are really sharp. There we go, let's keep going there, keep cracking. They're so nice. They are. Ah, oh, I'm just destroying the packs there. I just like that. It just feels neat to see these long packs again. Okay, get ourselves a Slendit, aka the Ultimate Simp. Uh, get ourselves the Night March team, Magnemite, a U Turn Bird, Persian, nice. Hey, an alternate art of the uh, treasure there, Mysterious Treasure for Dragons and Psychics. A Zorora, nice. A Hop, um, sorry, uh, Jump Pluff with the Night. Um, is it Night March? No, it's not Night March. Lost March. Lost March. A Buzzwall and Feramosa GX. Very good card. Very strong card. Okay. <gasps> Yo! This is like a $40 energy card. This isn't like the normal ones we just had. This is a secret rare energy card, but Japanese edition. We never got these ones in America. And what's after that? Uh, Hoopa. Who cares about the Hoopa? This is a rare energy card. So this is like the hit of the box probably. Maybe. It's a really good card. This is like top-notch card here. Actually, where is that... Uh, messing up my pile of cards here. That alternate art. The one I did sleeve. You know what? This can go and the gold card can go. I'm just going to find the really big hits. Actually, you know what? I'd even say the Ellie Gloss is actually a really big hit. Ah, you know what? I feel like that's kind of muddy. Sorry, guys. I know I'm being really slow, but I'm just really enjoy taking it slow and enjoying this. This is the good hit pile over here. This one can go too. The really good hits pile, you know. 
Okay, buzz wall, all these other things are really nice. That goes there. Wanna double check? Okay, let's continue. Get ourselves another one. Let's see if they can open it from the top this time. No, it just splits it right down the middle. Too much tension out the top. Okay, right, let's go. Get a shuckle, mess with shuckle, get a, get a litten. Get yourself a litten, get yourself an Eevee. Ooh, probably gonna have to get this off to my Freddy there. Shout out to Nocturnal. Nest Ball. Salanded in it. A uh, counter catcher. Articuno. Wait, we just need a Moltres now and we actually have the set of them. Uh, Giratina. Very nice with Dimension Door. <gasps> Alex! We got ourselves a uh, Mew and Mew to GX. So I think that's going in your collection. Like, look at that. Isn't that sick? I don't know if you actually have a regular art of this card, too. So I think we will substitute a Japanese one for a placeholder. Get ourselves a Water Energy. And a Trumbeak with the ability to uh, knock off supporters and stuff. Just off the opponent's deck there. The birds are, are top-notch? Yes. You want it? Yes, you can have it. Anything for the Babushka. Let's see, because I'm your favorite sim. <laughs> Esper. A Trico. Now we have the whole evolution line. Hey, the top bird with the word. This one got you the mail. Very good card. Very good card. G Gen 7. Uh, no, Gen. Was it Gen 7? Gen 6. Gen 6 champion. Uh, Cynthia, I think her name is. Not quite. Not Cynthia. Sorry. Um, dang, it's going to bug me who she is. Danfa. Danfa. Get ourselves a cute little, uh, what do you call it, Mimikyu with the shadow tags. Says that anything with a GX counter, anything that's GX, doesn't get to run away. Very good. Oh yeah, it's going in there. Get ourselves a nice stadium. Woo, Jirachi. Now at one point this was a $25 card. Um, well, mind you, that's the English one. But uh, it says that you look at the top five, find uh, an item card you want there, a trainer card, and put it to your hand. It goes to sleep, but then you use a U-turn board or something like that to get it out of there. Very good card. We got legs for days. Uh, we get ourselves a Zorora with the free lightning retreat. Very good, very good. A lightning energy to go with that Zorora. And a Substrika. It says discard your hand. Draw seven. Or draw four, actually, I think. It was a smaller one. Uh-oh, we're getting down to our last couple of packs here. Let's see if we can't get a nice gold card. That's like, again, that's the real hype there. We did get an alternate art, though, so that's nice. The alternate arts are like the top notch, the secret gold energy. Okay. Get ourselves a Squirtle, chilling in the liquid there. A not to saying no you. A little Bebez. A reset stamp alternate art, so that's definitely a hit. Ooh. Uh, I think this is Electro Finder. Um, regardless, this is also an alternate art. Gonna hold on to that. Get ourselves a nice uh, Incineroar. A Magnezone, love Magnezone. A Tapu Coco, very good card. It says you discard it, get two energies to your bench. A thing that says, hey, you can't hurt me if you are a GX EX, I think. A Grass Energy. And the rare for the pack is a Volkner, which uh, one of the people in my chat uh, wants to get a custom art done of somewhat. There you go. My Babushka does artwork. Check her out on uh, Twitter. Her name is A Squared Creations or A Squared Creates. And she does giveaways every month for art, there's to say. But if you want to hire her, she starts at really low prices. Volkner. Yeah, your boy Valkner. There you go. Second last pack, and then for this opening. Get ourselves a cute meow, uh, hanging out with some substitute dolls. Little teddy bears there, pokey dolls. Any key. A Flareon, which I think we still need the Jolteon. A Welder, very good card. Custom Catcher. Shrine of Punishments. A Hoopa, that's our second one. Hey, Porygon Z, I love Porygon. Get ourselves a Machop and Marshadow. Psychic Energy. Almost have a complete set of these. And a Zapdos. Dang it, we really wanted to get the Moltres though. And our last pack. Okay, last pack, guys. Last pack. I know I'm keeping this video long in the mouth here. Holy smokes. Last pack, last pack. 
We did get an alternate art. We did get a gold card. I'm pretty sure that was like our hits for the box. There might be one more cool thing. And if so, it might be in this pile. Gonna flip it around. Get ourselves a uh, Audino. Azura. A Wishy Washy. A Greens. Uh, cross the fingers. Yeah, cross the fingers. We need Metro to bless it, but I think Metro's out of here. Let's see. Greens uh, Expiration. A Misty and Lorelei. A Beast Ring. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get the Beast Ring in uh, the secret art. In our, oh well. Get ourselves a Biting Spite Spear Tomb. A Japanese Mewtwo. Ooh, I wonder who's going to claim this. A free Legendary Birds. Okay, so we got ourselves a tag team. We got the Moltres finally. Not quite how I needed it to come. Because I wanted to get an individual Japanese. But, you know, it was still a very nice card. Keep going. Get a Darkness Energy. And the last thing is a Porygon 2. Well, very nice. Which is funny because they actually use the Japanese Kanji. But then they use an English 2 on it. Well, we got some really nice hits though. Really fun little opening on this box there. Got a nice energy that makes up for a good chunk of it. The birds are your boys, eh? We definitely got some good cards there. I want to put the reverses. Go through this one more time. The Moltres. Our shout out this stuff there. Man, doing an hour and a half of unboxing is crazy, but I'm really happy to do this for my birthday. This is fun. That nice dark energy. Just look at all these hits. Holy smokes. These are all like the solid gold here. Uh, one more time. We're just going to recap. Darkness energy. Birds. More energy cards. Tag team. Uh, Jojo reference. Uh, Porygon Z. Which one we call it? This one gives you all the crazy energy things. Hoopa. Another Porygon. A Mewtwo. That's going to get dibs. Burning. Uh, building spite. More birds. All the birds. Throw back to an old one. Energy cards. You can't touch this. Here's energy because I'm a bird. I mean, here's energy because I'm metal. Some alternate arts. Some uh, reverses and things like that. We get ourselves the Thunder Cat, which was the last hurrah legendary of that set. A Jirachi that was once worth about 25 bucks. Congrats to that. That's cool. A bird that says, no, you. Supporter go away. Uh, let's see. Mew Mew OP free. Whatever. Very strong card. Uh, another bird... A dark demon bird, uh, another hoopa. But this one is different, actually. I feel like it looks different. Get ourselves the fighting forces there of thick and small. Uh, hey, all my friends that are in a cl uh, cult now, we go to the Shadow Realm. Another legendary, alternate arts, metal energy. Uh, hey, I heard you like trees and reptiles. Uh, other vaporwave space dragon. Uh, not thunder and lightning, but rocks from above. Uh, Yiffy, uh, which is that guy from... There's a guy with Poketuber, I forget his name, doesn't matter. So much bird voice. Yeah, we got ourselves fish with energy. Who cares? Uh, we got ourselves, we got ourselves the sardine, I should say. Uh, victory points. Um, Metal Mario, what else here? Cat, they can't identify. Thunderbirds, energy, more energy. Uh, folded piece of grass, metal thingamajig. Fighting Doggo and his blobus monster. Dark Bird. Water for days, turtle. Actually, I really like the art on that because like the blue of the hollow is nice. Uh, just you know, just favorite space dragon. That's gonna go to a friend probably. Aragon. And then we get that's our Japanese hit, I should say. Here's ourselves an Aragon Hollow. Curse you. Don't boop the newt. Hey, heard you like to do some research. Dabu. Uh, pack art. Pole as if. Uh, let's see. Pikachu is the main character. No Bernie allowed. That sounds weird. No, none of your teammates are allowed to get hurt. Victory points. Uh, Pikachu and friends. Probably a theme uh, theme deck exclusive Raikou or something. I know this is from somewhere special. Get ourselves a Kangaskhan. Some Hippos. Really mad looking Trinitar. Like we had like four... What was it? What was it? Four packs? No, it was three hits in a row. Get ourselves a big Koopa Hyper Rare. Japanese Gold Energy. Poisonous Food. Alternate Art. Um, Ghost Boys, the thing that helps you win games, and last but not least, uh, you got to sell a Scizor V Max. So this is crazy. I'm very happy with all this stuff. Yeah, I'll catch you all next time. As always, links down below, and uh, I love you all. Peace out.
Holy smokes, that was a lot. Holy smokes. Thanks for everybody who chilled in the stream. Peace.